In this episode of Hardcore Minecraft, I completely transform an entire biome of the overworld into the end, complete with cities, ships, chorus fruit, and a purple void surrounding it. Now, this build took over three months and came out looking insane, so I suggest you stick around to see the end result. But without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Alrighty, so apparently a load of you really liked me transforming the end into the overworld and wanted me to do it again, but this time in the opposite way. So, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be going and transforming a section of the overworld into the end. So after some careful planning and deliberation, I feel like this is the best place to do it in this little plains area right here. It'll work perfectly to be completely destroyed and remade into a beautiful end area instead. With maybe even a city or two, maybe some chorus fruit slash flowers, I can't remember what they're called, uh, some ships, some flowing islands, and maybe even some obsidian pillars and custom caves to finish it off. And then we'll surround the entire thing in a giant purple circle. So I guess without any further ado, let's stop talking about it and actually get to building it. So to start things off, we're going to need a lot of endstone to, you know, actually cover all this disgusting grass right here. And, well, the only place to really get that is the end, so uh, let's just head there real quick. Alright, here we are, uh, and I've already got a little mining area spot thingy planned just over here, so I guess we'll get to work and start grabbing exactly what we need. Alright, so here is a full shulker, and that thing took like 20 minutes, but I've only just realized now that I'm not using a beacon, and I also don't think I have a spare one just lying around, so uh, give me one second and we'll change that real quick. Okay, there we go. So this is mining without haste 2, which is pretty damn slow, I'm not gonna lie. And this is with haste 2, which isn't that drastic of a difference, but hey, it's gonna speed things up. Okay, so after about 30 or so minutes of mining, uh, here we are. We only need three more shulkers full, and I'm going to be honest, I really don't think that this will be enough to do it all, but I guess we'll see. But before we continue, I need to head over to the Enderman farm because my pick is not looking so good. So while this boring act of putting an end to a load of Enderman uh, plays out, you see what I did there, um, you can actually head over to gfield.com and get 30% off with code POPPERS. There'll be a link in the top right of the screen right now or in the description below. Head over there, get 30% off site-wide, plus whatever deal they've got on. It's a win-win. Anyways, with the G Fuel plug out of the way, back to mining. Okay, so I think that this is enough, and well, I'm pretty sure the Endermen aren't happy about me taking a, like a whole chunk of their home, but hey, it's okay, they didn't complain when I took the main island from them. Anyways, I think we should be good for now, so I'll leave the beacon here just for if we do need to get more, but uh, now it's time to, I was about to say it's time to place it, but it's not, because I need to plan out precise circles around it, alright, because I want an inner circle and an outer circle. So let me just real quick grab some wood, because it's going to be orange and it's going to stand out quite a lot, um, and then let's get to just popping the outline of the circle down. Okay, so the circles are now done, and they're a little bit janky, but they're going to work completely fine for what I need them to do. So the inner one is for the actual main island itself, where we're going to be putting the end stone and stuff, and then the outer one right there is for glass surrounding it. So now I guess it is actually finally time to start placing down the end stone, and well, I don't know about this being enough, but uh, we'll see. Let's go. Oh, uh, hello, you can't be here. Let me just, uh, unexist you. Ow, 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 okay, calm down. Jeez, my guy, why so hostile? Golly. All 
Alright, so here is the end result of all my shulkers full of endstone, and I'm not gonna lie, it did a lot more than I thought it would, but we still just need a little bit more, and then we'll be good to start building some other things on here. So let me just go grab some and place it down. And there we go, it's finally done, and looking pretty good too. So now it's time to go and grab some chorus fruits and uh, two whole end cities. So let me just go grab my silk touch pick real quick, and then we'll head straight back into the end. Oh, yeah, uh, don't, don't worry about that. There's a raid going on here. Let's just uh, ignore that. You know, don't mind me flying through. Okay, chorus fruit time. That should be enough. Now let's go and break down an end city and put it all in my pocket. Ooh, but first, actually, let me go grab the beacon because that's going to be very useful in tearing down these cities. All right, there we go, and now time to find a city. Okay, so I found one, and this one is a big boy, so I'm gonna just head in there and uh, deal with all the shulkers. And now that they're gone, let's start taking this thing down. Oh my god, this is taking so long. Why did I choose one this big? <laughs> okay, and finally, after I do not even know how long, the city is gone. Uh, and I'm actually really surprised that it fit into only four shulkers. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty uh, small amount of shulkers for such a big city. Anyways, let's go grab a smaller one, and then we can go and rebuild it in the overworld. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot the ship. Okay, so that's what's left of the ship. I, I cannot be bothered moving the obby, so uh, yeah, I'm going to go grab the beacon and find another city. Ooh, okay, this one will do perfectly. It's tiny, and I think my pick has just enough juice left to take it down. So let me just real quick rebuild the beacon. And finally, lastly, let's go in there, deal with the shulkers, and get to taking this place down. Alrighty, and at long last, both cities are finally taken down and placed into these shulkers, which is kind of ironic considering that the shulkers usually live inside of the cities. Hmm. So, I guess without any further ado, let's get to, uh, let's get to building these. Okay, and here is the first city nice and done. Now, I may add a ship to it later if I feel like it needs one, but for now it looks pretty good. So now I'm real quick just going to run around and place all the chorus fruit to get them growing, and uh, then we'll get on to work with building the second city. Okay, and the cities are done, uh, well, for, for now at least. Uh, anyways, let's go and add some floating islands real quick. There we go, looking good already. So now we begin the most tedious thing ever. We need to go and grab a load of sand from our poor, poor desert over here and then smelt it all down into purple glass and then follow it up by placing it all down in the outer circle, which I don't actually know how many layers it's going to be yet, but it's going to be around 12 to 16. So it's going to take a very, very long time. Okay, that may be enough, but I really, really, really do not think it is. So uh, let me just go and uh, get down to smelting it in my brand new auto smelter right here that I actually made just before starting recording this video. So uh, yeah, look at me automating things. Holy, I'm, I'm getting better at the game. Woo! Anyways, waiting time. Okay. 
Okay, and we are now officially stacked on glass. So let me just go make it purple and magenta that I actually need to go and get the dye for. One sec. Okay, and boom. Okay, that should be enough magenta dye. I don't know, probably not, but uh, either way, I need to do the same for purple. So let me just grab some roses and lapis and break them down, and we should be good to go. Okay, so let's go and get to uh, placing all this glass down, shall we? This is the bit I'm really excited about, because this is where everything starts to come together and uh, look really cool. So I guess I'll be back with you when we've made some progress on the glass placing front. Okay, so I think I severely underestimated the amount of glass that I'm actually going to need because this was absolutely, this was nowhere near enough to make even a dent in this giant circle. So uh, I'm going to continue digging out the rest of the circle uh, to flatten it all out. Uh, and then I guess you guys can witness me destroy the rest of that poor, poor desert. Anyways, let's get to making a nice flat circle. Okay, there we go. Everything's level now. Uh, now let's just add the obsidian real quick. There we go. Looking very, very nice. Right, so now all we need to do is we need to take down more of the desert and place down all the remaining glass. And that's going to take a very, very long time. So uh, let's get straight on with it. Alrighty, and at long last, we are done. This thing looks even better than I thought it would do. Oh my god, it looks brilliant. So now we're just going to go around and add a couple of small details, such as the caves and whatnot. So uh, let me just grab some amethyst and some endstone. And boom, there we go. Cave done. Looking very nice. And with that, the build is done. And I am very, very happy with this one. It's very symmetrical, very uh, purple, and it really stands out. I'm a big, big fan of it. And I really hope you guys are too, because this thing has taken me like three months. Oh, and before I forget, here's the desert now. It, it's just ruined. It's just a barren wasteland. So maybe we'll do something with that in future. Who knows? But as always, thank you all so much for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It really does mean the world to me. If you enjoyed the video at any point, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing because it really does go a long way. But yeah, other than that, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Adios, peeps. Thank you.